Good morning, House Hunters. Hey, it's Donnie Corum with the Integrity Team at Remax and ColoradoForeclosureDeals.com. Hey, listen, we're standing out in front of 4825 Langdale Way, which is in Broadmoor Bluffs Park. I want you to take a quick look here. This neighborhood is overwhelmingly gorgeous, all right? You've got beautiful high-end homes ranging anywhere from 800000 to a million dollars in this neighborhood. But this house is priced at a number that is absolutely going to blow you away. But as always, if you want to find out the price, get to click on the link attached to the video and or give us a call at the number at the top of the screen. We'll get you inside here. But let me tell you what, you're dealing with a house with 4,800 square feet, five bedrooms, four baths. Let me clarify that. Sorry. Four bedrooms, six baths, I stand corrected. Three car garage, 4,800 square feet in Broadmoor Bluffs Park. Now, you usually don't see them in this bad of shape, okay? So this is gonna provide itself only to the opportunist who understands what a ton of equity looks like. Guys, here's the thing. We're walking inside a very custom home and we're not sure if this is a vandalism issue or if you have a bad tenant. No way to know for sure. But right when you walk in, the first thing you're gonna notice is some drywall holes here, right? Somebody has some fun with this wall. Not a huge deal, we gotta re-drywall this. I am talking six figures plus worth of equity in this property after the repairs. So I want you to look past the cosmetic issues because I believe the bones of this property are just fine, but it is a lot of cosmetic work for sure, maybe a hundred grand worth. But even if that's the case, this still has over 200 grand in equity left after the repairs. So here we are in the upper level. Look at the finishes here. The kind of the, uh, you know, the Greek, there are pillars and whatnot, but that's what you're expecting to find at a high-end home of this caliber, okay? You put the money into this, you're in a neighborhood, you saw a comp with less square footage that's under contract right now for $900,000. This is priced well below that. Took them a week to find out how much. We're walking in to the kitchen area. Check out this wide open space here. We definitely need to update these countertops. You've got some cabinets that are, you know, a little retro for house on this level. You might swap those out or maybe just update them with paint and uh, hardware. We could put in new appliances for certain because they are very dated. But all in all, this is a big kitchen. But my favorite feature, look at this, walls, I'm sorry, floor to ceiling practically windows taking in all the natural light and views. Just look at this, down here, there's a fountain. This is a luxury home, guys. You're buying in Broadmoor Bluff. This is an area that's pretty much guaranteed to go up because all the wealth in Colorado Springs goes either to the Northgate area or to the Broadmoor area. So you're gaining equity on a gorgeous home for a price that is absolutely astounding. Here we are, wood burning fireplace here. All right, pretty good size one at that. Looks like we got some trim and door work here. Give you a quick view of the three car garage. Again, 4,800 square feet, so we're gonna try to keep it moving today because we don't wanna spend a lot of time with this much square footage. But let me tell you what, you are gonna spend a great deal of money fixing this up, and when you're done, you're gonna have over six figures of equity left over. Here we are in, we're gonna call this, I guess it's a dining room, right? Not officially a bedroom. You've got pretty good wide spaces, dated fixtures throughout, so we're not gonna bother looking at those, but I'm saying dining room because of the wallpaper, but it's attached to a bath. This is actually one of the uh, four bedrooms in the property here. Dated fixtures throughout here, we new tile. If you're someone who's handy with tile and flooring, this could be a great opportunity for you, because the real cost of this is gonna be paint, which anybody can do, right? And flooring. So if you can add that value to the property, you are literally gaining six figures worth of equity in this home. Let's continue on. We have a bathroom here on the main level. Again, this is six baths total. This is a half guest bath, if you will. It definitely feels dated. It has a lot of dated characteristics to it, but that's not a big deal. We can update it as we go, right after we clean up the obvious cosmetic issues. We are heading into, you know, we can't, I mean, it's not a master bedroom. It's, it's a kind of a suite off to the side. So think of this like this is the, uh, the second guest suite, if you will. And I'm saying suite instead of room because we're gonna head downstairs. Look at this, the railing system has been knocked out here. So we need to add new rails. This will look awesome with some wrought iron fixtures. But what's really exciting is it's a multi-level room. So we're heading to the lower section of this room now. And in the lower level, you have more living space down here. You have a closet off to the side there. And then you have an attached bath and a walk-out lock here. So, you know, it's like a two-story master, if you will. 
So that's really what this was used as. This is your master bedroom, but it's got multi-levels on it. Now that's something you're only going to find in high-end custom homes like this one, but as you can tell, it needs a lot of work. we got to paint this up for sure. This paint job's a little messy. It's got a full walk-in shower. Check that out. And then you've got all this uh, tile work and etc. A huge jetted tub over here, and basically a two story master bedroom. What a sweet deal, guys. This is something you don't see very often, and this is a price per square foot that should not happen in the Broadmoor Bluffs area, period. Click on the link, it'll give you the price, get to us right away, we'll get in touch with Wendy. You can buy this house with a limited amount down and decent credit, even though it needs this much work. There are conventional loans that can make this work, and I am telling you, the amount of equity you're gonna gain on this property, even though it needs a lot of work, is gonna make it well, well worth it. Let's continue on. Where to head next? We're walking through the living room space. You've kind of seen that already. We have the dining room space. I want you to notice the decking system just a little bit. Obviously, we're going to wrap up in the backyard as we always do, but the decking is kind of it's missing all the railing pieces here, so we're going to have to add that for safety reasons. Otherwise, it's going to be a short trip off the deck. And that continues all the way around here. So, huge wraparound decking system, which I'm not going to kid you, it's not going to be cheap to repair, okay? We are looking at doing a great deal of work on this property, but again, it has the equity to support it. These floors need to be refinished, completely redone. Somebody has to put some spray paint over here, put some expletives and whatnot. But hey, that's why we're getting such a great deal on it. So this is an opportunity. Forget about the work. If you're buying the right property in the right neighborhood, you are guaranteed to get a good deal on it because you know this neighborhood can support 900 grand, 850 or so, and this is priced so far below that, it's staggering. We're continuing downstairs. Bedroom number one, attached bath. Okay, decent sized bedroom, wood plantation shutters. Check this out over here. Got an attached bathroom on it, needs all the updates. So we got new tile coming in. We got new fixtures to put in there. You're gonna add all sorts of stuff to this house, but when you're done, you'll be sitting on enough equity. Honestly, you could buy another house of what you could keep in equity on this property if you bought it and sold it later. We're in the second living room downstairs. And as you can see, the real problem with this it's more than just dating, you know. You got the um, the mirrors off in the back. We don't do that as much anymore. The wood style of veneer on the walls, not as common or popular today. So we're going to clean that up a little bit. That's going to go a long way. We head over. Oh, jeez. Bedroom number two, right? And this also walks out into another space. This is kind of more of an office space because it's got this bar on it. But if this is an, an office slash bedroom, it is huge. It's got its own fireplace down here. This is really the side of a whole other master bedroom. We got a two-story master, and then we have this whole other master suite area, complete with another jetted tub, another five, you know, five-piece master bath, and all the other amenities like drywall holes. Guys, don't let this freak you out. If you know anything about drywall? This is about 20 bucks worth of repair, right? You gotta buy the drywall patch, you're gonna go ahead and putty over that, you paint it, bada bing, this thing's back in business. You have a lot of opportunity, you gotta look past the cosmetic issues. It finalizes in here a walk in closet, uh, fit for a king, plenty of space, just really goofy color choices, right? So that's what we see a lot on foreclosures, is that they have a lot of problems with coloring. We continue on. So really, this is like another master suite with an office attached. Huge great views out back. We're going to take you to the backyard here in a little bit. But I also want to point out, this is a half an acre lot. Look at this, some high-end features like a safe built in over here. Not very well covered here, but you know, you might have to get that you know, redone. But it is there. The property has another bathroom here, half bath. And that leads you into... Another bathroom, I'm looking for the lights here, plus sauna. That's right, it's got a built-in sauna. And I apologize there's no lights back here, so I can't show it to you fully, but it's not turning on. So this is a, uh, a dry sauna right back here. So definitely high-end, got your washer and dryer room back here, so that's where the laundry room's gonna go. And, you know, as far as updates, it's got the whole wood veneer trim going on, so just in general, we're gonna be starting over for most of those spaces. I think we've wrapped up that area. It's such a huge house, it's kind of get lost in it. I'm gonna take you out back and wrap this thing up because you really gotta see what can only be described as a courtyard, not a backyard. And of course, this doesn't want to go out with. All right, that's not gonna work. We will head over here. Sometimes on foreclosures, they disable certain locks. 
for obvious reasons. So here we are out back. And like I said, this is a gorgeous high-end custom home in the Broadmoor Bluffs area. Of course, it has central air, um, all the HVAC systems. You're going to be updating pretty much everything on this property. But when you are done, you'll have a ton of equity. And what I want to end this thing is its own private little pond down here. Come on down into the courtyard area. Half an acre lot in the Broadmoor. Just think about that for a little bit. Okay. Here we are in the private pond in the backyard. Take a quick glimpse of the back of the house here. And once again, you've got four bedrooms, six baths, a three car garage, 4,800 square feet on a half an acre in the Broadmoor, priced in a neighborhood that's going for 800, 850. I saw a couple comps at $900,000 with this square footage.